Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook. Reincarnated as a demonic dragon, I formed a pact with a beautiful female Lord Chapter 21. I definitely won't be tricked by Xu Yuan this time. Su Wan didn't know about Xu Yuan's battle going on at the moment. She was still examining the units and troop types she had unlocked. But suddenly, a prompt appeared. Congratulations Lord Su Wan for obtaining the Black Gold Behemoth. Su Wan was perplexed. She didn't know what was happening. She just stayed in her territory and hadn't done anything at all. How had she obtained the Black Gold Behemoth? Wait, Behemoth. Su Wan checked the territory. She didn't find the Golden Behemoth anywhere. Xu Yuan was also missing. No, no, no. Someone took Xu Yuan away. Su Wan was worried about Xu Yuan. Golden Behemoth could hold his own but Xu Yuan was tiny and lazy. He would be in danger. She tried to calm herself and realized that her worries were unfounded. Xu Yuan seemed harmless and lazy, but he was not that simple. Xu Yuan was a dark hero. He definitely wasn't weak. At this moment, a tremor spread, shaking her territory. Su Wan looked outside her cave and saw black and green flames clash. All the light seemed to be overpowered by the illumination that came from the clash. Xu Yuan, the moment she saw the explosion of light, all Su Wan could think of was her hero. You lazy worm, you better be unharmed. Su Wan couldn't see Xu Yuan. She was afraid he was involved in some kind of danger. When Su Wan rushed to the scene, she realized that her guess had been partly correct. Xu Yuan was indeed at the scene of danger. Su Wan didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Xu Yuan was a lazy creature that never woke up. There was such a terrifying explosion and yet, the lazy hero was sleeping on the grass. Wait, black gold behemoth. Su Wan found a familiar creature lying at her feet. It looked similar to golden behemoth, Orega, but his fur was now black gold. Su Wan looked at the place where the explosion had taken place. An incomparably large three-headed dog was lying on the ground, unconscious. Was the commotion caused by a clash between the black gold behemoth and Cerberus? She wondered. Su Wan was willing to believe that the explosion and the cause was caused by a fight between the black gold behemoth and the three-headed monstrosity in front of her. She didn't consider Xu Yuan because he was always sleeping. There was no way he could have been involved in such a fight. Maybe the Golden Behemoth had fought with Cerberus and then evolved into Black Gold Behemoth after winning. Reason Su Wan. At this time, Su Wan received a notification. Congratulations Lord Su Wan for defeating the boss, Cerberus. Lord Su Wan, please make your choice. 1. Transform Cerberus's soul into the Hellhound Troop and unlock the Hellhound Troop class. 2. Subdue Cerberus. You will receive Cerberus as your mount. Su Wan wasn't sure what to choose at first. She glanced at Xu Yuan who was sleeping on the ground. Su Wan sighed in relief when she saw that he was still asleep. She was afraid that he would choose it for her again. It's okay. It's okay. He is sleeping. At this point, Xu Yuan raised his head and looked at her. Can he sense that I have a choice to make? Su Wan thought that he intuitively knew when she was going to make a choice. Just as she was about to make a choice, he suddenly looked at her. He must sense something. I need to be fast. If he gets to my side, he will trick me again. Su Wan vigilantly stared at Xu Yuan. He looked sheepish. Xu Yuan, why did you run away from the cave? What is that on your head? Su Wan discovered the horns on his head. She also saw something like an eye on his chest. It was tightly closed so she could only see a crack. She couldn't really make out if it was an eye for real. I have to be wary of that B asterisk starred. Su Wan fiercely shook her head. Now was not the time to be shocked. She had to make a choice fast before Xu Yuan found out about it. She definitely wanted an awe-inspiring and powerful mount. The troop types she had unlocked were strong enough. Gold Behemoth Soldiers, Black Gold Behemoth Soldiers, and Skeleton Knights were all very strong and powerful. Su Wan could create them. She only lacked resources for now. The more powerful they were, the more resources she would need to create them. Su Wan really wanted a mount. When he rode on Cerberus, she would be everyone's envy. I definitely won't be tricked by Xu Yuan this time. Even if the Emperor of Heaven were to come down and interrupt me, I would still choose the second option. Su Wan stared at Xu Yuan to make sure he was in his place as she slowly reached out her hand to select the second option. Xu Yuan also noticed it, but he couldn't make it in time. 
In the battle of wits and courage with Xu Yuan, she had earned a point today. Su Wan was secretly happy. The black gold behemoth lying motionless at her feet sensed Su Wan's arrival and wanted to get up. He struggled. My lord. He wanted to say something but when he got up, he bumped into Su Wan. Su Wan fell to the ground because of the force with which black gold behemoth had bumped into her. By the time Su Wan gained her composure, Xu Yuan was already at her side. No, she exclaimed. Su Wan looked at the panel. Xu Yuan had already chosen an option, as expected. He had chosen the first option. Xu Yuan, Arega, you two just want to bully me, don't you? Su Wan was really angry this time. The black gold behemoth had bumped into her just when she was about to choose. And Xu Yuan was ready. They must have banded together. Who is the real lord here? If this continues, I don't want to be a lord anymore. I will abandon you both. Su Wan was so angry that she wanted to cry. The huge Cerberus turned into green flames and disappeared. A prompt informed her that the Hellhound troop had been unlocked. Su Wan was far from happy. When she saw Xu Yuan's sheepish face, her blood boiled. How could he act so innocent? Su Wan was really frustrated when a message appeared on the group chat. Lin Yao, Wan Wan, quickly look at the school forum. The school has already released the news of the selection of students for the inter-campus tournament. The selection contest would be held tomorrow, and the top 10 lords would represent the Star Academy and participate in the tournament. Su Wan, is this my Xu Yuan? In their territory, Su Wan took a bowl of fruits and placed it in front of Xu Yuan. Xu Yuan, we are selected to participate in the inter-campus tournament. Will you help me out? Su Wan felt that she was indeed very humble. She was going to great lengths to please and negotiate with her hero. Any outsider would think that their roles were reversed. It looked like Su Wan was the hero and Xu Yuan was the lord. Xu Yuan wagged his tail. He was in a good mood. He raised his claws as though to flex his muscles. Don't worry, I am very strong. This was the first time Xu Yuan had talked about his strength with Su Wan. Su Wan was anxious. No, I mean, can you communicate with the skeleton knights and make them fight obediently? Su Wan still regarded Xu Yuan as a harmless little creature who knew only to sleep. She was just afraid that the troops under her would not listen to her. So, she wanted to communicate with them, especially in the competition. She needed to make sure Xu Yuan and the skeleton knights wouldn't cause trouble. Xu Yuan grunted indifferently. He had thought Su Wan needed him to fight so he had been willing. But seeing as she didn't intend to get involved directly, he didn't care anymore. Su Wan created two golden behemoth soldiers with her resources. Among the troops they currently had, the black gold behemoth had the highest combat power, followed by the golden behemoth. However, the black gold behemoth required too many resources to make one. Su Wan had to set aside some resources to facilitate the resurrection of troops and heroes when they died. She was unwilling to exhaust all her resources to create another black gold behemoth, so she settled on making two golden behemoths. The black gold behemoth had turned back into golden behemoth after the demonic dragon's blessing ran out. At present, Su Wan had a total of three golden behemoths. Three golden behemoths, 100 skeleton knights, 10 dark goblins, and 10 hellhounds. That's more than enough. After she finished the preparations, she pressed on the option to enter the arena. Xu Yuan felt the spatial fluctuation. He found himself in a strange arena. There were countless heroes, soldiers, and lords there. In the middle, two lords fought. Xu Yuan, you have to be careful. When we go to the middle later, protect yourself. Xu Yuan turned to Su Wan in surprise. He hadn't expected her to be so concerned about him. He thought she disliked him. Next, second year student, Dang Delin, against first year student, Su Wan. When the names were announced, there was a roar in the crowd. Su Wan is going to fight. I heard she won first place in the freshman trial. She might be strong enough to defeat a second-year student. That's impossible. As a first year, you can only compete properly with the students in your own year. You will be greatly overpowered facing a second-year student. The lords at the scene discussed animatedly. Su Wan and Xu Yuan were engulfed in a white light. They disappeared and reappeared inside the ring in the arena. The selection contest is split into the arena challenge and territory challenge. You get one point for each win. Whoever scores two points can enter the territory challenge. Su Wan explained to Xu Yuan. 
Xu Yuan just yawned disinterestedly. We are now in the preparation stage. Both overlords, you can summon your troops. Su Wan summoned skeleton knights, dark goblins, hellhounds, golden behemoths and other troops. It's a golden behemoth. Student Su Wan actually has an elite troop type. It's a pity that she's up against a second year student. Otherwise, she could really dominate the new students. The appearance of the golden behemoths made everyone exclaim. Su Wan looked at the opponent in front of her. Second year student, Deng Delin's army type was a very standard wing wolf cavalry. In terms of the army type, Su Wan had the upper hand. However, there was a huge brown bear standing bedside Deng Delin. S-class hero, bear of the earth. The second year student isn't weak. Which one is Su Wan's hero? The other lords were really invested in the match. Their gazes swept around, and finally locked onto the three golden behemoths. Is it one of the golden behemoths? When she heard the others, Su Wan turned around and saw Xu Yuan hiding and sleeping again. It was no wonder the other lords ignored Xu Yuan. Nobody would even think that the lazy, sleeping creature was Su Wan's hero. Arena challenge begins. Everyone's attention shifted when the notification was displayed. Go, skeleton knights. Su Wan sent out the skeleton knights first. The black mass of skeleton knights rushed towards the wing wolf cavalry. Soon, the two sides started fighting. The skeleton knights and wing wolf cavalry were a blur. Weapons clashed and clanged. The wing wolf cavalry and the skeleton knights were on par. At that moment, the second year student, Deng Delin, gave a command that changed the situation. Warly, go, the S-class hero, bear of the earth, charged, shaking the entire ring. It pounced on the arena. Boom, the skeleton knights were crushed under its weight. Despicable, shouldn't it be soldier type against soldier type, and heroes against heroes? Seeing Su Wan in a disadvantageous position, some students shouted that the situation was unfair. Deng Delin was a senior and had a better foundation than Su Wan who was a new student. Even though arena fighting didn't have any specific rules on soldier types fighting soldier types or heroes only fighting heroes, the students felt it was unfair because the hero was called in so soon. Isn't Su Wan's hero going to appear? Su Wan, quickly send out your hero to teach that guy a lesson. Outside the arena, everyone was shouting and urging her on. Su Wan felt bitter. She knew what kind of hero she had. Her hero was unreliable and lazy. Su Wan looked at the golden behemoths, the dark goblins, and the hellhounds. She had already decided to send them into the arena. However, all of them were gathered around Xu Yuan at the moment as if he was their leader. Su Wan was baffled. I am really just a figurehead, aren't I? I have no power over them. She had once mentioned jokingly that Xu Yuan seemed to be their leader so she needed him to communicate with them to be obedient in the arena. Her authority as the overlord had been stripped away. Xu Yuan, get up. Other people's heroes were so amiable. What about my hero? In the arena, the second year student, Dang Delin, looked at Su Wan in surprise. Dang Delin didn't have as much confidence as he pretended to have while facing Su Wan. He had thought that he might end up dead when facing her. He had even anticipated the 108 ways in which he would be defeated. However, Dang Delin had never thought of this situation. It was very strange. Each of those soldiers remained unmoving, as though Su Wan had lost control of them. Warly, kill them. Dang Delin wasn't the type of person who became immobile upon seeing a woman. He gave the bear of the earth the order to strike Su Wan with the final blow to end the match without even the slightest bit of hesitation. Roar. The bear of the earth roared up at the sky. Su Wan was anxious. She ran to Xu Yuan. Xu Yuan, please wake up and do something. I'll make you a really comfy nest to sleep in if you communicate with these guys and let them win this game. Please. Xu Yuan opened his eyes when he heard about the prospect of a soft nest. He was full of energy. Su Wan was rendered speechless when she saw this. Without a doubt, this lethargic worm would never be evasive when it came to sleeping. Xu Yuan had first intended to command the golden behemoths and the others to proceed to the arena and fight. Su Wan being the first to lose her cool and approach him was not what he had anticipated. He was looking forward to the promised soft nest. Xu Yuan waved his claws lazily at the three golden behemoths. The three golden behemoths obeyed. They came forward one after the other and roared. Golden waves erupted from their furs. The golden behemoth is about to make its move. How on earth did Su Wan get such a powerful troop?
Damn it, why does this woman get all the perks? The onslaught of the golden behemoth surprised some people, while making others envious of their power. Some people were even envious of Su Wan. But everyone was surprised by more than just that. The three golden behemoths were still undergoing their transformations. Their bodies burst into black flames. The flames flared and made them appear ominous. Their furs turned black gold in color. What's that? It's the legendary black gold behemoth. Angels in the distant past left the light and descended into the shadows, becoming powerful fallen angels. At that point, several of the golden behemoths changed to black gold in color. A knowledgeable overlord discussed the history with others in the audience. Su Wan observed the three black gold behemoths in the arena ring as they released a potent dark aura. She was excited. Despite the black gold behemoth's strength, she would undoubtedly have to go bankrupt if she tried to build one using her limited resources. But now, with the help of an unknown power, the three golden behemoths had turned into black gold behemoths. Damn it, there it is again, that odd power. Su Wan looked at her troops. Her skeleton knights turned into mutated skeleton knights. The golden behemoths had turned into a black gold behemoths. Could these transformations be related to that lazy Xu Yuan? Su Wan stared at Xu Yuan in confusion. Su Wan noticed that he was the only explanation for the dark power. He was a dark hero, after all. She was still unaware of the skills her dark hero possessed at this time. The black gold behemoth and the bear of the earth engaged in combat. Boom, the bear of the earth slammed its claws on the ground, and stone pillars emerged in the arena in an attempt to pierce through the three black gold behemoths. However, the black gold behemoths were much stronger than the golden behemoths. The black gold behemoths waved their hands and the stone pillars instantly shattered. Warly, be careful, the second year student, Dang Delin, suddenly shouted. The bear of the earth also realized that something was wrong. The black gold behemoth dispersed in three different directions and attacked the bear of the earth. Wing Wolf Cavalry, hurry! Dang Delin commanded the Wing Wolf Cavalry to help the bear of the earth. The three black gold behemoths changed again. They were covered in black flames. The flames acted like armor. Novelusby. See Omicron M. Black bone sabers emerged out of nowhere on the black armor. What is that? The bear of earth was the only one who could plainly sense the terrible aura. The three black gold behemoths were undoubtedly controlled by an even more terrible force. While the bear of the earth was still in a daze, black bone sabers pierced through its skin. The bear of the earth roared in pain. There was something wrong. His memory was permanently scarred by this kind of suffering. The black bone sabers attacked the soul. Dagdelin couldn't see his hero in so much pain. He chose to surrender. I surrender. The bear of the earth, the wind wolf cavalry, and Dang Delin were encased in white light and disappeared from the arena. Dang Delin appeared outside of the arena ring. He was concerned about the health of his hero. Warly, are you all right? Despite the fact that I was plainly up against one of the more powerful freshmen, I secretly believed that I could beat her. You wouldn't have to experience this suffering if I had given up earlier. I am so sorry, said Dang Delin. In contrast, the bear of the earth gave Dang Delin a smile and reassured him not to worry. The hero and the lord then stood side by side offering words of encouragement to each other. Su Wan saw this. This was the kind of relationship she had dreamt of with her hero. Once upon a time, she had also imagined putting in a lot of effort alongside a hero, experiencing the highs and lows together, and then reaping the rewards. Su Wan turned to look at Xu Yuan. He was still sleeping on the ground. It seemed like he was dreaming of something good. Xu Yuan wagged his tail softly. Other people's heroes were so amiable. What about my hero? Su Wan's eyes teared up. How had she met such a fraud? Su Wan's friends were waving at her from outside the ring and she waved back. She had clearly won the first match, but Su Wan was not happy at all. It was like winning a competition but losing one's meaning of life. Student Su Wan wins the challenge. Su Wan, Xu Yuan and others were encased in white light and disappeared from the arena ring. Dot dot dot. In the administrative school of the Star Academy, the head teacher was giving instructions to the other teachers. Remember, the dean has already decided that student Su Wan will participate in the inter-campus tournament. If she wins one more challenge, she can be promoted. Do you understand what I mean? The other teachers nodded in agreement. Don't worry, we will arrange another senior student for Su Wan. He couldn't graduate because of his poor grades. 
Su Wan can take him on. Did you squander all my money? Su Wan was unaware of the academy's murky side. At this point, she was surrounded by three close friends, and her face was a little embarrassed. Good job, Wan Wan, you actually secretly developed such a powerful troop type. Shi Ling Long's impression of Su Wan's troops were of the time when Su Wan had rushed to help her during the barbarian attacks. At that time, Shi Ling Long had felt a little better when she saw her skeleton soldiers. Su Wan had been lucky enough to surpass everyone. But right now, Shi Ling Long was a little envious of her friend. Zhao Qingrong, on the other hand, stared at the three golden behemoths and poked their muscles, seemingly very interested. Only Lin Yao thoughtfully glanced at Xu Yuan, who was still sleeping, and then at the golden behemoths and other troops. She seemed to have some questions, but she didn't ask them. At this time, Su Wan's next opponent was announced. Isn't that the legendary Zhang Wei, who has been repeating for almost 10,000 years? Shi Ling Long looked at the opponent and then at Su Wan in surprise. Wan Wan, you're really lucky. Zhang Wei, who had failed for 10,000 years. It was said that his talent was so low that his initial hero had been a slime. He was neither able to pass the cultural study nor the Lord's challenges. Therefore, he had been held back for three years. Three years had passed since the overlord of the same cohort had graduated, but he was still unable to do so. Lin Yao, Su Wan, and the others did not feel that there was anything wrong with this arrangement. They merely believed that Su Wan had excellent luck. Their four heroes had assembled while the four girls were chit-chatting. The flower fairy was the first to act. The flower fairy jumped over to Xu Yuan's side when she noticed that her lord was having a contentious discussion and wouldn't let up for a while. Lord Lufus, do you want to win the first place? She couldn't get the image of Xu Yuan flogging the wild boar king with his tail out of her mind. The flower fairy thought that Su Wan would never be placed second as long as she had Xu Yuan's support. Xu Yuan didn't open his eyes, but he wagged his tail. I'm not interested in that. Xu Yuan had no interest at this time in attending the so-called tournament between the hundred universities. He wouldn't think about anything before seeing the prize to decide whether it was worth his interest. Lin Yao's Ice Phoenix and Zhao Qingrong's Elf Archer also followed when they saw the flower fairy conversing with Xu Yuan. The relationship between their lords was excellent. They also intended to get to know one another as heroes. However, halfway through the journey, the elf archer noticed that the ice phoenix suddenly froze. What's wrong, Lady Bing Yao? The ice phoenix was an SS class hero, while the elf archer was only an S class hero. Because of this, the elven archers approached the ice phoenix with great respect. The elf archer followed the ice phoenix's gaze. He noticed that her gaze was on an odd thing that appeared to be resting motionlessly on the ground. The creature appeared to be of the dragon clan with dragon horns on his head. A tail ablaze with dark blue flames swayed gently while a pair of unmoving black wings lay on the ground. The elf archer was confused. He walked over to greet Xu Yuan instead. What are you two talking about? The elegant elf asked. The flower fairy turned around and replied, We are talking about the tournament, Ying Ying. After a while, the elf archer joined in the conversation. Ice Phoenix seemed a little off, but she still approached them. The four heroes gathered. It was a little warm outside at this time because of the noontime sun. Everyone, hold on a second. I'm going to apply sunscreen. I need to take care of my handsome face every day, said the elf archer suddenly. He took out his sunblock and began to apply it. The flower fairy was astounded to see this. Bing Yao didn't know what to say. Even Xu Yuan, who was almost always very lazy to care about others, stared at the elf archer. Pointy ears, did you steal your lord's sunblock? Asked Xu Yuan. The noble elves would never do such a thing. I used the overlord account to buy this. Using the overlord account to buy it. Xu Yuan's eyes narrowed. Su Wan, who was talking with her companions about the competition in the distance, shuddered. She whirled around and peered around to see if someone was talking about her. The elf archer taught Xu Yuan to use his original hero identity to access the overlord account and make purchases online. The overlord and the initial heroes share a unique bond. We rookie heroes get a number of advantages that other heroes don't. Under the elf archer's guidance, Xu Yuan secretly logged into Su Wan's account. In the chaotic forum, Xu Yuan was attracted by a post. In urgent need of dark magic crystals. Selling at a low price of 100,000 blue stars. 
dark magic crystals, a system notification then appeared. Congratulations, you've unlocked the information related to the dark magic crystals. The dark magic crystal is a crystal born at the end of the deep darkness. It contains an immense amount of energy and is an unknown source that the people of the blue planet cannot use. As a dark demon dragon, the dark magic crystal is a good tonic for you. Eating the dark magic crystal can strengthen your skills. Strengthen my skills, Xu Yuan had an idea. He examined Su Wan's account and found that she barely had 100,000 blue stars. Xu Yuan was surfing the forum just then and noticed that everyone was talking about the fight between Zhang Wei and Su Wan with great enthusiasm. Everyone was very optimistic about Su Wan and thought that Zhang Wei would lose. Many had bets on Su Wan's win, and not so many on Zhang Wei's side. Xu Yuan's claw tapped on the interface. Su Wan noticed the decrease in her funds. Where did my money go? Su Wan started to worry. She discovered via her friend's investigation that her hero was the one accessing her account. Xu Yuan, she shouted, did you squander all my money? Su Wan was able to see a decline in her funds, but she was unable to determine where this particular portion of the funds had gone. She hurried over to Xu Yuan's side, and after some inquiry, it was ultimately confirmed that he had squandered her money. Zhao Qingrong's hero was the culprit. He had taught Xu Yuan how to access the overlord account. You never want to do the good things but learn the bad things so fast. Su Wan was furious with Xu Yuan, but she was much angrier with the elf archer. He was to blame for leading Xu Yuan astray. Xu Yuan made an innocent face and scratched his back. Don't call me Xu Yuan. From now on, call me Director Xu. Su Wan was speechless. However, she did not have time to respond to that. Su Wan and Zhang Wei, please make your preparations. When the announcement came, Su Wan tried to calm herself. She had to handle this challenge well. If they won, they would get two points to advance to the next round. Su Wan eventually began to realize that something was wrong. Su Wan and Xu Yuan emerged inside the arena ring after a burst of white light. Su Wan was enthusiastic at this point. They possessed an army of skeletal knights as well as strong warriors like the Hellhounds and Golden Behemoths. On the opposing side was the repeat student with his slime hero and some slime soldiers. How could he stand against her? Su Wan the goddess will triumph. How did that guy, Zhang Wei, have the misfortune to run into Su Wan? Poor Zhang Wei. If he had encountered other first-year students, he might have had a chance but with Su Wan, he has no chance at all. Everyone was having a lively discussion. On the other side of the ring, Zhang Wei stood disheveled. The blue slime was jumping about him, seemingly unaware of the strength of the person in front of it. While everyone engaged in a heated discussion, a teacher said to the dean, I have arranged it well, haven't I? There will more or less be doubts if we allow Su Wan to confront the other senior students and then arrange for those senior students to throw the game. However, according to plan, Zhang Wei, a notorious loser, will be defeated by Su Wan and it will not be suspicious at all. The few folks working behind the scenes in the office burst out laughing. This arrangement by teacher Yang is excellent. Su Wan can continue to win, and we can also prevent other kids from knowing that we were involved. The fact that we can allow student Su Wan to demonstrate her formidable strength is what matters most. The school head will undoubtedly thank us when he hears about our great arrangement upon his return from his business trip. Dot dot dot. In the arena, both were ready to launch their attacks and were waiting for the system prompt to start. Zhang Wei felt lost. He stood there without making a move as though waiting for Su Wan to just be done with it. Su Wan decided not to be a sentimental person either. Skeleton Knights, charge! The Skeleton Knight leapt out at Su Wan's command with a whoosh. Su Wan turned to face the other soldiers. All of the units, including the Golden Behemoths, the Hellhounds, and Dark Goblins were eager to engage in combat. When she called for them, they were ready which was in stark contrast to the time when they were motionless to her instructions. Is it possible that after accidentally spending my money, Xu Yuan recognized his error and felt he let me down? Is that why he already commanded the other soldiers to heed me commands beforehand? Su Wan's thoughts were dominated by her own fantasies. She reasoned that the Golden Behemoths and the other troops were particularly involved in this conflict because Xu Yuan must have spoken with them beforehand. Really, I'm not upset about this small sum of money, but I wish that Lazy Bum would be more active. I'll allow him to carry this shame and perform well for now. 
Su Wan's mind was filled with possibilities of making Xu Yuan try to make up for what he had done out of guilt. Her mouth curled up in a faint smile. Wow, the goddess is smiling. The goddess is smiling at me. Mama, I'm in love. Who can resist that smile? 